one of you here asked me like has there been any of my students has gotten jobs without certification and what would i have to say to people who believe they need certification to land a job Now, number one, if you believe you need a certification to land a job, you're right. Also, if you believe you can get a job without certification, you're also right. And I'm going to explain to you. Why do you need certification? I'm going to tell you why straight up. Certification, the only thing it does is enhances your chances of getting jobs. It increases your chances and shows that you know what you're talking about. Doesn't necessarily mean that you know what you're doing but you know what you're talking about. That's number one. Number two, certification helps in the sense that when recruiters are searching for employees or candidates, they don't point and click. They use tools, they use softwares. And when they're using softwares, they have filters. Now, the filter, they can also add that they need someone with this certification or they need someone with two certifications you know, and so on and so forth. Now, if you don't have certification and you're applying for a job, that software will meet your resume. You understand? Because the filter adds that this candidate must have certification. Can you get a job without certification? Of course, yes. Some of my students have landed jobs without certification. And the reason is because it is not one cap fit all. Different companies, different policies, different criteria. Some companies believe that you need to have certifications before you come on board. And some believe that when you come on board, you have like a month or two or three or six months to get certifications. And some would even sponsor your journey to get your certification. So has any of my students gotten jobs without certification? Yes, some of them, they've gotten jobs without certification. Now. Can you get a job without certification? Yes. Do I advise that you do certification? Of course, absolutely. I advise that you do that. The reason is you want to increase all your chances. Anything you know you can do to increase your chance, to aid your job search, and to put you on top, you have to do everything. And if certification happens to be one of them, I would advise that you do it okay so simply put let me give you an instance if you want to do grc right it is very commendable that you have caesar and series and if you can do cism as well fine but it's uh, important that you have two of those three and let's say for instance you want to do cloud security it is important that you do ccsp and there are several certifications that are required for several domains in cyber security now if we both apply for the job and they see that my experience speaks to the fact that i have done this thing before they want to speak to me as well but the fact that you have the certification put you ahead of me you can tell the difference now so imagine you let's say you have a company right and you want to employ a pen tester or you want to employ a grc manager let's use that someone to conduct your grc department or you need a grc consultant now two people come to apply and you saw that one has caesar and c risk and the other doesn't have any and they both have the same experience now tell me who would you want to talk to you want to talk to the one that has certifications now does that mean the one that doesn't have certification does that mean he doesn't know anything or he doesn't have the experience no but you've seen the one that that has demonstrated that I know this I know what I'm talking about so certification is a way for you to demonstrate even without them talking to you that hey I know this I know what I'm talking about all right I've done the certification I've passed it I've been tested but that does not translate to practical steps which is why it is good for you to get certifications however it is better for you to submit yourself to a mentorship where they will train you the practical aspect of the job that you are applying to for instance if you want to apply for grc or ethical hacker or security engineer you need to get mentors that will give you the tools that you're going to need to do your job and they will train you on how to use those tools okay so by the time you're done either you have certifications or not your interview will be different for, from someone who doesn't know how to use those tools or who has not practiced or who has not tested them because you have done enough practice to be able to speak to how they work so what am i saying 
certification is good you can get a job without certification but certification will increase your chances to getting a job number four practice 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 every time speaks volume during interview okay because the interview is your door to get it a job so if you have all the certifications on the world but you have not done anything you've not practiced anything you've not done internship you've not done anything you have practically no experience how are you going to defend the certifications that you have that's the most important thing so as you're working to get certifications to help increase your chance of landing multiple interviews also i would advise that you submit yourself to mentorship that will also train you in the practical aspect of what you want to do permit me to invite you if you want to get into cyber security in 90 days we train a domain in cyber security called grc governance risk and compliance here we're going to not just train you with the with the fundamentals the principles the basics and all that we're also going to give you practical knowledge of what is obtainable even in the outside world all right so if i were you i will apply now for all the points i've raised if you don't agree with them let me know your thoughts i like to see people that also think differently from how i think and i want to read what you're thinking about so put your thoughts in the comment section and if you also want to ask me a question on a live podcast you can put your details there my team will reach out to you also if you disagree with everything that i've said or any of the point i've made please put your points there i like to read from you thank you so much i will see you again on the next one bye for now